After the recent ruling in the New York civil fraud trial involving former President Donald Trump, where he was fined $354 million plus interest, Trump now faces potential damages and fines totaling around $540 million from various civil trials over the past year. Last week, in the defamation case brought by E. Jean Carroll against Trump, the judge ordered him to pay $83.3 million in damages, in addition to the $5 million he already owes from a previous sexual assault trial. This week, the judge overseeing Trump's civil fraud trial fined him $354 million plus around $100 million in interest for what was deemed a decade of fraudulent business dealings. These expensive legal battles cast a fresh spotlight on Trump's finances and could raise questions about his liquidity as he confronts multiple criminal trials and an upcoming presidential election. While Trump's campaign expenses have largely been covered by donors, his political committee spent over $50 million on his 2023 campaign. The legal challenges pose a more complicated financial hurdle for Trump, known for his wealth. Courts offer various avenues for collecting damages, including liens and wage garnishments, and the fines are not dischargeable through bankruptcy. Legal experts suggest that Trump is unlikely to immediately pay the fines, opting instead to delay payments through a bond secured by his assets until he exhausts his appeal options. Former federal prosecutor Josh Naftalis explains that defendants can either post the full amount themselves or obtain a bond from a third party, likening it to insurance where the third party assumes responsibility and the defendant pays a portion. In a previous case, when Trump was initially ordered to pay $5 million in damages, he covered the sum by transferring funds into an escrow account. During his deposition in the civil fraud case last year, Trump claimed his company held over $400 million in cash. However, his 2021 financial statement reported $293.8 million in cash and equivalents, a figure contested by the New York Attorney General, who alleges it was falsely inflated. Despite these legal challenges, the Trump Organization has closed several lucrative deals since Trump's presidency, although acquisitions have slowed. Trump's partnership with Vornado Realty Trust in a San Francisco skyscraper resulted in a $617 million payout from a $1.2 billion bond sale in 2021. He also profited from the sale of his Washington, D.C. hotel and a New York golf course last year, although it's uncertain how much of these profits he retained in cash. Trump's ability to cover his legal obligations may hinge on securing a supersedious bond, using his assets as collateral. However, the value and nature of Trump's assets remain uncertain, complicating the process. If Trump exhausts all legal options and faces significant financial strain, he might consider liquidating his New York-based assets, including properties like Trump Tower and Seven Springs Estate, although selling these assets could prove challenging given their association with Trump and New York's commercial real estate market conditions. Bankruptcy, though a possibility, may not provide a long-term solution for Trump's legal fines and penalties, as they are generally not dischargeable and could invite further legal scrutiny and political repercussions. Trump's recent financial dealings, including loans from Axos Bank, have played a crucial role in stabilizing his post-presidential finances and supporting his political aspirations for the 2024 presidential nomination. These loans, totaling $225 million for properties like Trump Tower and Doral Resort, are structured to ensure profits for Axos Bank, according to its president and CEO, Gregory Garibrance. 